They've been protesting for months. So far, local authorities have been unable to quiet them down. In September, tens of thousands of Hong Kong residents took to the streets, demanding more democracy. Days later, most of them were gone, fearing their actions would hurt the economy. Others kept fighting until the local government invited them to talks. But the invitation was the only goodwill gesture they got from authorities. None of their demands were met. While protesters in Hong Kong demand a truly democratic poll, in Taiwan, residents already had that right. On Saturday, they elected local leaders who pushed for more autonomy from China. Taiwan's pro-Chinese prime minister has stepped down. Through these votes, people want to be heard. Therefore, I take full responsibility for these results and resign from office. But Chinese authorities don't plan to let go of Taiwan, which they see as one of their provinces, although it has its own government, parliament and president. Voters call for more democracy won't change China's plans to bring the territory and Hong Kong under full control.